One extremely important thing that you should take care of before buying insurance is what kind of insurance policy you buy. Hello and Namaste. I'm Manish Aujan and this is Paycheck to Profit, India's first YouTube channel dedicated to your financial freedom. We make videos every 10 days dedicated to insurance, investments, personal finance and your financial freedom. So if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please take this moment, pause the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. I'll be coming up with videos on every 4th, 14th and 24th of every month. In the last video, I spoke to you about a chronological order in which you can manage your finances in different instruments, which will help you achieve your financial freedom faster and it's an absolutely logical way of managing your money. In that video, I requested you to please get yourself a life insurance on ASAP basis if you are one of the earning members of your family. I also told you to get a medical insurance for every family member who's eligible to get insurance. I also told you if you have debt in your life, let the debt remain. Please buy yourself and your family members insurance first and then tackle the debt. In all of this, if you're still confused about what insurance to buy, how does insurance work, if you even really need insurance, all of these simple questions about insurance, I'm going to try and tackle and solve them for you in this video. So continue watching. First, let's just try to understand what exactly is insurance and how does it work. In the most simplest terms, you can look at insurance as a bet. And I hope each and every one of you watching this video loses this bet. Why? Because what you're betting for, or rather what you're betting against, is an event or an incident which could tremendously hurt your life if it was to come true. In case of medical insurance, you're betting against your good health. So what you're doing is you're paying a small insurance premium to the company the insurer and if you get into a medical expense through the year where you're hospitalized the insurance company will take care of all the hospitalization but why would you want to get into a hospital in the first place so you buy insurance every year you make sure you and all your loved ones are insured but i hope for each and every one of our viewers that all of us keep losing these bets every year the reason why i request you to buy insurance for every eligible family member is because you pay a very small amount as your premium and you get a very large financial benefit in return. For example, if you're buying yourself a life insurance, for a mere 5,000 to 6,000 rupees, you can get life insurance worth 50 lakhs. And in case of medical insurance, for 5 to 6,000 rupees, you can end up getting medical insurance worth 5 to 6 lakhs, depends on your age, your gender, the city where you are living in, your lifestyle, your uh, income. So I am just trying to give you a ballpark figure but even then you realize what you are paying and the value that you are getting in return is a very large number. What happens is when you buy an insurance, you are actually buying yourself a peace of mind. You don't want anything negative to happen to you or your loved ones. But if something is to happen, you know at the back of your mind that you're well prepared or in case of you losing your life, your family is not going to face a big financial loss immediately with, along with the emotional loss of the loss of family member. Have you ever wondered why does an insurance company give such a large sum assured for such a small premium amount? Well, it's simple. Insurance actually works around the whole concept of probabilities. The people who come up with these insurance premium amounts are called actuaries. Their work is nothing but to look at the probabilities, the population, the economic scale. They look at multiple parameters to come up with a model which will give insurance companies a fair idea of what would be their payout for all the people buying an insurance policy. Let me explain this entire concept to you in a very simple example of a medical insurance policy for a company, for an insurance company. Let's say 100 people buy one rupee worth of a insurance policy for an entire year, which leads to revenue of 100 rupees for the insurance company for that year. They know in that entire year with X amount of customers being hospitalized, they will end up paying not more than 40 to 50 rupees to hospitals for hospitalization charges of the customers who were hospitalized. 
they are left with another 50 rupees but out of that 50 rupees they've already utilized let's say 15 to 20 rupees for management rent salaries of all the employees who are working for the company what they are left with is about 30 to 35 rupees which is their net profit on which they pay taxes etc etc what happens is although you pay a very small amount you are also a part of a very small percentage of people who will end up using that insurance amount in case of an unforeseen incident in your life the entire probability of many people paying an insurance premium and very few people actually utilizing that insurance premium is what leads to the whole profit making circle of an insurance company one extremely important thing that you should take care of before buying insurance is what kind of insurance policy you buy i will request you to not get carried away with all the marketing jargon that insurance agents and insurance companies could use against you what has happened is to increase profits and to get maximum revenue out of customers today insurance policy insurance companies have come up with multiple policies many of which are confusing and frankly a few of them are absolutely unnecessary i will not get into the negative part of it but i'll give you a simple cheat code when you're trying to get yourself an insurance policy please try and get yourself only a term insurance as the word suggests term gets you insurance for a particular time period or a term the most practical and simple advantage of buying yourself a term policy is that premiums for term policies are always the most inexpensive ones and at the same time the difference of money that you save on term policy versus any other policy that money you can invest in any other investment instrument of your choice i'll be making more videos on the topic of insurance in the future but please comment below and tell me if there's any topic which you haven't understood about life insurance or medical insurance or anything related to insurance in general the reason to make more videos is because there are so many topics within life or medical insurance which i haven't been able to cover in this one video also there are other insurance policies like vehicle insurance which is a compulsion you should get travel insurance when you're traveling abroad or making a big travel plan and there are so many other things that you can do to improve your insurance needs and insurance decisions having said that i will request you to please do your research and talk to your financial advisor who can help you make prudent decisions and help you select the insurance which is absolutely perfect for you i hope you like this video and derived some value out of it please give me a big fat like if you did like the video share it on your social media channels and do not forget to subscribe to this channel and now see you in the next video until then keep smiling take care of your loved ones and stay happy Kaching.